Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss that how we can find or calculate RMSD value that is root mean square deviation value. So for this purpose, uh, first of all, now we should have a crystal structure of enzyme uh, ligand target complex or enzyme inhibitor complex and uh, from this we can retrieve uh, such kind of structures from PDB so here I am going to show you in discovery studio visualizer that this is our uh, human carbonic anhydrase 2 which is 3P4V which is PDB ID code of this structure and this is retrieved from uh, protein data bank file so here we have a crystal structure and this enzyme is co this inhibitor is co-crystallized inside the active site of this enzyme. So after taking this uh, we will uh, only we will select this compound uh, which is co-crystallized ligand like here it is PMX300. So we will make a, a ligand from here we can copy and then we will open it in new molecular window and here we will paste and after this uh, we will optimize or uh, minimize this structure uh, in MOE then we make a file of it in uh, here from here we will save it as mold2 file and after making this mold2 file uh, we will dock this compound this co-crystallized structure we will dock this compound along with our uh, new compounds inside the active site of this enzyme. So when we dock this compound inside the active site of this compound again, so we have a, a structure, this structure uh, will bind inside the active site and uh, we will get our results like here, we have this uh, this co-crystallized structure so we after performing our molecular docking uh, we will take a pause from this like here we have this uh, minimum energy of this uh, docking pause uh, is minus uh, 8.0332 and this RMSD value is the whole protein protein RMSD value from this MOE and uh, after this we have taken this we have saved this file so file save so after saving this file we open we will open it in discovery studio visualizer again so now here i am going to show you that this is our saved file after docking so <coughs> this file is co-crystallized ligand file and this file is our ligand which is after docking so this uh, pose is after docking so it is a docking pose of the same uh, ligand which is co-crystallized inside this active site. So when we are going to take RMSD value uh, we will take this compound from here or we can take a whole molecule so we will take this compound which is here so we will copy it and we are going to paste here in this molecular window now this is our compound which is after docking so after docking we have this pose okay we can color this compound different and then let's pause i am going to color it like cyan okay to differentiate both uh, different both compounds uh, we can color them or we can color only carbon atoms so this is uh, the this these type of videos are already present uh, in my youtube channel that how we uh, use discovery studio visualizer and different four different five different tutorials are present so you can check that so after uh, this uh, we will go to this uh, protein and uh, here is our protein so now we are going to remove this protein as well 
and from here we have another atom which is zinc atom i am also going to remove this after cutting now these are our poses so these are our poses from so mouse mode uh, select and sorry mouse mode we will move to translate mode so now this is our structure okay or we can use this to make uh, centralize this okay now i am going to take uh, our msd values okay go to structure rmst heavy atoms okay now this is our structure number one which is 3p4v1 and uh, now this is our second structure which is 2.2259 so this is our second structure this according to this reference according to this reference which is one so we can change the name of our structure so that we can uh, mark it easily that like here I'm going to change this name to um, let's pause co yeah okay so now I'm going to again taking RMST RMST heavy atoms okay now uh, you will observe that uh, this is our 3p4v1 uh, which is reference value and this is our uh, second value which is co-crystallized and uh, the reference according to this reference 3p4v1 we have this 2.2259 so in this way uh, again this both these name this co-crystal and this is reference so again it is 0 0.001 so uh, according to both of these like 3p4v with reference to 3p4v it is uh, 0, 0.00 co-crystal according to co-crystal with reference to co-crystal it is 0, 0.00 but uh, co-crystal with reference to 3p4v1 which is our uh, co-crystallized ligand and uh, sorry this is our resultant co-crystal i have names only i have changed this name so this is our uh, co-crystal and this is our uh, result so both these so i have only changed the name so both these uh, when our lab it is the rmsd value of 2.2259 angstrom so if it is less than 3 then it is uh, reasonable and uh, it shows that uh, the result of our molecular docking is accurate so in this way we can calculate rmsd values so thanks for watching my